man. I thought I was done today, but I guess not. I'm going to try this again because people just don't seem to get it, I suppose. Not sure why. Not sure why. Too much television, probably. If there's, uh, let's say, gang of people robbing houses. You live in a subdivision. At the end of the street. There's ten other houses on your street all the way to the intersection. And they start at the furthest house away. And you watch them ransack that house. Hmm. They load up all the stuff into a truck, drives away another truck, and then they move on to the next house. Same thing. And then the third house, and then the fourth house, and fifth and sixth and seventh house. Are you at any point going to be concerned to go, man, I should do something about this because clearly my turn is coming. Pattern recognition, yeah? That's a good indicator of, uh, of IQ, of your intelligence quotient, you know? You heard of that? So... When, um, you know, these, these people, these weak, cowardly, apathetic Canadians, and you're the reason why we're in this mess, to be honest with you, you people, you people, Don Cherry was right, you people, okay, you want to look at everything, you know, you want to zoom right in on the little tiny, oh, well, yeah, Bill C-10 on its own, by itself, not super concerning, Right? Hate speech laws by themselves in a vacuum, not super concerning. The suspend, the, the failure of uh, everyone in Parliament to give a damn about running an election to get these maniacs out of power, in itself, in a in a microcosm, in a vacuum, not so much an issue by itself. But again, you know what smart people do is they you know they they, they take a step back and you look at the big picture, in which case all of these things have happened. And now we have gun, more gun regulation and more today. Now we've got a soft registration. Now the, now our retailers are going to have to keep, uh, records, right? Records on everything, including non-restricted rifles. So if you waited, it's too late. It's too late for you now. Demonstrations are, uh, basically, they are, they're illegal, right? There's two different sets of rules. Justin Trudeau can fly around the world and break all of his own health guidelines. Max Bernier does the same thing. He goes to jail. Then we've got the internet censorship I just talked about, the UN drip thing. Let's see, we're arresting pastors all over the place, barricading churches. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, they're controlling the speech. Uh, we're going to send, now the, the government's going to take control of the internet. Okay, it's going to happen. The guns are being removed from society. Where have I seen this before? Where have I seen this before? Oh, and there was no debate on, on any of this either. They just did it with a minority government. Do you see a pattern emerging? They keep, they want to focus on, on the, the, the moment in time and then grasp at straws and find reasons why it's not as bad as it looks because this, this and that. Why don't you take a step back and look at the trend and the pattern of the things that have been happening in this country over the past couple of years? And be honest with yourself and tell me you don't, you're not a little bit concerned? Never mind the, the Veltman crap? Oh, it's a terrorist attack. Well, do you have any evidence of that? Yeah, but we're never going to show you what it is. Right on. I've seen this story before, the weapons of mass destruction. Trust me, we just got to do this. We, we don't have time to explain. We're just going to do a bunch of radical changes. Uh, we're not going to, but we're just going to do them, okay? Because re, cause safety. We'll just say safety a bunch of times. People will think it's about safety and then we'll move on. Right? The, 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 the scandal after scandal after scandal out of this government. The lies and the gaslighting and the, the proliferation of like state media. Chinese soldiers are training in our country. Our pilots are training PLA pilots. Our soldiers are training PLA soldiers in Canada. We give them money. They kidnap our citizens. Our entire government is, is just how far up everyone's ass is the glove of Xi Jinping anyway. Are you noticing any trends or patterns yet? They'll look at one thing. Oh, well, just because I did a training exercise with the Chinese. <laughs> Your country is devolving into an authoritarian state in which, uh, you know, have you ever read 1984? I mean, that, that's basically, there was not supposed to be an instruction manual, Ottawa, but I, I guess, uh, they liked the book so much, they're, they're gonna try and implement it themselves. The carbon taxing and the, I mean, just bullshit after bullshit. Are you noticing a pattern? These are not good people. They're not 
interested in freedom or fairness or liberty or, or, or improving your lives. They're interested in improving their lives. That's why they give themselves uh, pay raises, tax breaks, as many incentives as they can imagine. Bonnie Henry, speechwriter? Yeah, he left to go work for AstraZeneca. Eileen Davila's husband. Oh, he's involved with pharmaceutical company reps too, right? It's so corrupt. Well, just because that one thing, stop it. Stop it. You're lying to yourself. Stop being a coward. Accept reality. You're in, you're in trouble. This country is in bad shape. We're Cuba with money. I'm not being hyperbolic. I mean that entirely. It's, and, and we don't even have money for that much longer. Okay. Cause they're going to, the hyperinflation is locked in. You should do yourself a favor and find out what that means. Oh, anything other than accept the situation, accept reality. That's the Canadian way, isn't it? Oh, geez, boy, it's not too bad. Don't rock the boat, boy. Everything's going to be all right. Just calm down now. Yeah, okay. I'm going to tell you a story. Speaking of authoritarian regimes and, uh, not saying I'm not, you know, in before, you know, vlogger calls for Holocaust. Okay. Not saying it's going to come to that. But uh, let's, you want to talk about reality? Let's talk about reality. You ever heard of the Holodomor? Uh, when the Soviet Union massacred, starved, butchered, and worked to death uh, 50 to 70 million uh, Russians and Ukrainians? Oh, they prayed. Oh, they prayed. And they trusted the plan. And they thought, oh, everything's going to work out. They're going to wait for somebody else. Somebody will save them. Batman will come. Superman will come. Some politician with all of the answers will come and fix it for them. They don't got to do anything. Don't worry. Just don't worry. Everything's going to be... Everything was not all right. It was the biggest, biggest genocide in history. You ever wonder why nobody tells you about that one? Genrik Yagoda? You ever heard of that guy? Little mustache man? Mwah! Beauty! Things don't just work out automatically and everything resolves itself. See, this is the false reality and the illusion that we've lived in here because we're a soft country. And I'm going long here, but I don't care. We're a soft country full of soft people that have lived in a place of smoothed edges and rounded corners for too long. We've never really had to suffer. We've never really had to fight for anything. And now everyone has this uh, opinion. And it's been... How many generations since anything really bad has happened? This is the first time we've ever really been tested. And then everybody just gave over their rights and freedoms because TV said so. TV said, ooh, scary time. And everyone went, okay, daddy, don't hurt me. I'll do whatever you want, daddy. Stay, daddy, government. How do I stay safe, daddy? Tell me how to stay safe from the mean things. It's pathetic. Weak men, hard times. You ever heard that? Of course you have. Everyone's seen it by now. Hard times create strong men. Strong men create good times. And good times create weak men. Weak men create hard times. You ready for some hard times? 